Hey everybody and welcome. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, I'm going to give you top five hacks that every DAS Studio user should know about. Before I get started, a massive thank you to everybody who subscribed and hit the notification icon. It's really helpful to me to know how many people want to see my future content. Also, thank you to all of my patrons and members. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. If you are interested in supporting the channel, you can either visit the Patreon link in the description or you can join as a member of this channel using the button down below. So let's jump right into this then. The top five hacks every DAS Studio user should know. Hack number one. If you're in a situation where you have applied an expression to your character, sometimes when you try to apply a different expression to that character, rather than resetting to zero and then applying the new expression, the expressions will add up, producing some really quite bizarre results. This is due to the way that certain expressions are made differently. Now, you could spend ages trying to find the appropriate zero expression by typing zero into your poses or expressions in smart content but it's much quicker if you simply have the character selected and then you select their head by clicking on them with the move tool selected next to the widget there will be a little icon look, looks like a man in a t pose if you click on that you can hit restore selected items pose and then it will reset the head and all of the facial muscles to their default position this might take 10 to 15 seconds and then you're good to go. You're ready to apply your next pose. Hack number two. Quite often when you're setting up a scene, you may have multiple characters selected and want to hide one of your characters for a specific render to save on memory. But when you do it, the props and wearables will remain visible, which can be quite irritating. The easiest way to fix that is to have your character selected Click on the Create New Group button. You can name the group whatever you want. Generally, I would advise naming it in some way that you'd be able to identify it by the character that's in it. And then once you've got that group created, you can hide everything in that group nice and quickly. Hack number three. Quite often when you're setting up a scene, you'll use your NVIDIA IRA render preview and you'll notice that there'll be black lines appearing in the eyeballs. This can be quite irritating because no matter what you do, you can't seem to shift them. One quick trick to try and fix this is to come into your render settings and under the optimization tab, where it says instancing optimization, if you've never touched this, it's probably going to say auto. What I would advise you doing is cycling through them, go from auto to memory and then memory to speed and then hopefully your black rings should disappear hack number four getting your characters to make eye contact can be a bit of a pain there are scripts that you can buy to be able to do this for you quickly but honestly it's not worth paying for when you can do it so easily yourself what you can do is you can go into your scene create a new camera by clicking on the camera icon in the top left hand corner you can name it whatever you want and we're just going to set this to apply the defaults we're going to jump into our camera just so that we can see what's going on and then we're going to select our character's head and then her eye in the scene tab like this we're going to make sure that we're in the parameters tab below it and set the eyeballs to look at the camera like so now when we move this camera around you can see the eyeballs actually follow the camera so we can park this inside somebody's head or wherever we want and their eyeballs will follow hack number five this one is one that a lot of people do but they don't actually know what it's called and for those of you who don't know it's called manual oversampling and what it is is if we have our aspect ratio at 16 by 9 what we can do is we can actually render our image one and a half two times bigger than it's actually required to be so for example if you wanted to do it one and a half times bigger 2880 would be your x 1620 would be your y and then when you render it when you shrink that back down to the size that you actually need it to be a lot of the noise will disappear 
and then it saves you having to waste valuable memory on denoising your images and it doesn't apply a blur or anything like that so it's a much much better way of denoising your images rather than rendering them at intended resolution and applying any filters to it. I hope you found these hacks useful there'll be lots more to come let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one bye bye. Thank you.